Welcome and welcome back, Collective. How's everyone doing? I'm sending you all good vibes, and I really hope you're feeling great. So today we're going to do a collective reading. We're going to find out what the universe wants you to know. So let's jump right in and see what the message is that you need to hear today. Universe, please share with me your message. So we have the Ten of Cups. So this is about family. This is about connection in some way. Hmm, what else? What about this connection? Whoa, time to reflect on this connection and look at the reflection there of the two faces. Somebody might be two-faced in your family. Reflecting on that is necessary, possibly. Hmm, what else? What else? Okay, so we've got something happening in three months. What is happening in three months? Ooh, fear is a mirage. Courage is your reality. Oh, how interesting. And we've got, oh, stand your ground and show your strength. Following courage. Hmm. All right, so let me show you these up close so you can see it. So we have family dynamic. Usually this is, you know, unity, harmony, a family coming together. But this is saying you need to reflect on that. Something is beneath the surface when you see that image on that card. Um, so I feel like there's quite a bit going on for you right now when it comes to your family dynamic in some way, some sort of connection, some sort of family harmony connection. So, you know, and, and like I was saying, the Ten of Cups is usually a signal for fulfillment and joy within your home and family. It's like... um it's like a facade almost, like keeping up appearances the way I'm feeling this in the energy. It's like during the perfect family dinner where everyone's laughing, food's great, there's a sense of like completeness. And it's like a picturesque kind of scene. But underneath the surface, something is off, just like in the time to reflect. You know, there's a reflection, something's beneath the surface that's not what it appears to be something is not the same something feels different something has changed however it applies um to your life specifically i just heard trey trey so someone's name is trey um take that as it resonates um or maybe this is about like maybe it's not a name i am hearing it like trey but maybe it's like a tray a carrying tray let it resonate as it's meant to um I'm hearing 828, 828. Um, so maybe that's someone's birthday or time of birth. If it's a birthday, that would be a Virgo. Or this is like to do with a date in Virgo season. Um, again, let it resonate as it meant is meant to. But, you know, looking at that time to reflect card right before we got the three months, it's clear that you're being nudged to take a step back and really think things through related to your family dynamic in some way. Um, I feel like you're sensing something, like your intuition. I just heard your spidey senses. So you might say that your spidey senses are, you know, activated. Something feels off, like you're sensing discord or like something uneasy lurking beneath the surface. Wow, this is coming through in a different way. Um, a lot of different ways. Um, yeah, it. what I'm seeing, it's like your family is sitting at a dinner table and everything looks perfect, but you can just feel something is off. And this card, it's like it's telling you to trust those feelings. Don't ignore it. Don't brush it under the rug. Your gut is telling you something is off. You know something is not right. Um, 
And it's like the universe is saying lean into that energy and observe what you know in silence. Wow. Um, it's like you're being guided to pay attention to someone's actions because those actions are actually speaking truth. I just heard Marcella, Marcella, Marcy, Marcy. Hmm. Um, so that could be someone's name, someone's nickname, someone's name for short. I just heard Dominican. You may be of Dominican descent. And I'm being shown someone with light blue eyes. The eye color is light blue. Wow. So that is specific for someone listening. Um, and then look at the next card. Fear is a mirage. Courage is your reality. And then when you look at the time to reflect card, you could have a mirage here, okay? Take that as it resonates, but it's super powerful that it came through in this placement. It's almost as if, you know, allow it to resonate as it's meant to, but it's almost as if you're scared to acknowledge some sort of truth about your family or personal relationship. Like, you know it, you see it, but you don't want to acknowledge it because if you acknowledge it, then it's real. And I mean, let's face it, it's hard facing family issues head on. It can be terrifying. Like, you don't want to go there. Denial sometimes works a whole lot better. It might be easier, you know, to pretend that everything's fine. But deep down, just like on that time to reflect card, you know that this is not sustainable in the long term. So I feel like you're being asked to let yourself see the truth of a situation for what it is and not what you want it to be or hope it to be. I just heard aging like fine wine. Maybe someone's still like a hothead and they haven't really grown up and matured. I just heard Peter Pan, Peter Pan syndrome. Somebody has, has not grown up yet. They haven't turned into fine wine. Wow. So however that applies, take it for what it is for you specifically. Um, yeah, you're being asked to see the truth, accept the truth, acknowledge the, tr <laughs> the truth. Wow. I just heard slow down. So that's specific for someone. Maybe you are feeling um, like some sort of anxiety about a situation or you have like this impulse to make something happen now. You have to have it now, however that applies, but the universe is saying slow down. Um, you're, it's like you're being urged to take, yeah, like a take a step back and assess things. Don't react to the situation without thinking things through. Um, yeah, don't do anything. Don't react without getting all of the, like, necessary information. Wow, this is, this is deep. Um, I just keep hearing keeping up appearances. Like, something going on in the family dynamic does not look that way. Like, the struggles are not clear. The, it's, like, hidden behind, like, a mirage. Wow. Um, so yeah, the next card, stand your ground, show your strength. I mean, it's following a theme here. Um, you know, this is about asserting yourself in some way, however that applies to your situation. So it's like you're being guided to assert yourself and not be passive about something that's going on. Um, you know, it's like when... Now, I'm, this is how it's being shown to me, so take it as it resonates. But it's like when someone in the family tries to brush real issues under the rug, you know, um, like saying something like, um, let's not talk about that right now. You know, let's not deal with that right now. Oh, that's not important right now. Like they're, they're the one that brushes it under the rug. It's not a big deal. Let's just let it go. But it's like this card showing up is pushing you to speak up, to assert yourself, to address what needs to be addressed. You know, even if your voice shakes in fear, right? Fear is a mirage. Courage is your reality. Wow. So even if your voice shakes, you're being guided to speak up anyway. 
and I just heard Bristol and it's on a sign. So this is a maybe a location Bristol. I'm not sure. Um, let it resonate as it's meant to. And I just heard St. Nicholas. So this is about a saint. Um, maybe this is about a church. Maybe there there is a church in a Bristol. I'm not sure. Take it as it resonates, but it's coming through for someone. Um, so it's clear by looking at these cards over the next three months, give yourself permission to really reflect on what you want, you know, in your family dynamics, really observe what's really happening in your family dynamics. Be honest with yourself about what's feeling off. Is someone not being truthful? Are certain relationships not as close as they used to be? You know, however it applies to your situation specifically, but it's like once you've pinpointed the issues, it's time to use that inner strength and approach these conversations that you must have with courage, not aggression. You know, I feel like, um, like framing your feelings and thoughts in ways that opens doors of honest exchange and not confrontations. Cause I feel like that's where it goes. Like you try to talk about issues and it turns into like a fight an argument, denial, Something like that. Um, I'm seeing the letters R, J, S, and T. So these might be initials. They may by, they might be different initials. Like R and J might be one set. And S and T might be another. But let it resonate as it's meant to because those are specific. Um, but yet, you know, it's clear by looking at these cards... The universe wants to remind you that real strength isn't about being loud or forceful. It's about being like truthful and compassionate, you know, with others as well as yourself. So that's what you're being asked to do. You know, over the next three months, really reflect on what's happening and be honest with yourself because that's the only way to find the solutions that you're seeking at this time. So that's what the universe is saying. Over the next three months, give yourself time to reflect so that you can get the answer that you seek, the solution that you need, and you will find it if you step back and allow the truth to bubble to the surface. Wow, what a reading. So that's all I've got for you, Collective. Thank you so very much for joining me for this reading. If you haven't already done so, please be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of my future readings. I look forward to seeing you in the next reading.